Ladies and gentlemen, on Sunday, Florian Jackoy's regular season would come to an end. And do you want to know what he did? He went out with a bang that would have made Kim Jong's jaw hit the floor. Yes, it was that kind of nuclear. So in today's video, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at some of his recent work. We're going to talk about the progress that he's made. And I'm going to tell you how I feel about his future. But first, we've been getting a lot of new viewers around here. And some of you are probably wondering who I'm even talking about. Well, go on, grab a toilet seat and sit down because I've got a story to tell you. In round four of the 2023 draft, the Canadians went out and selected Arbor Jackoy's little bro, Florian, who was actually dubbed a unicorn by the Hebs scouting department at the time. Some Hebs fans were happy about the pick, but believe it or not, some Hebs fans were also losing their mind over this one, as if Wayne Gritsky was left on the table. Come on. But in reality, here's what Kent Hughes did, okay? He went out and selected a familiar player who comes from a family where quitting is not an option. <laughs> Not unless you're working at Costco and Mark Bergevin's on the phone. But anyway, the progress that Florian Jackoy has made over the past year has been unbelievable. Right before he was drafted, Florian was coming off a 25-point season for the Bulldogs, but guess what? After being selected by Montreal, it's like a switch went off. His point-per-game production went up by 180% this season. Isn't that something? Oh, God, I don't know if you'd get 180% if you combine all my marks in high school. We already knew that he could play some physical, intimidating hockey, but nobody expected him to put up numbers like this. And when the Bulldogs' regular season came to an end on Sunday, Jack High finished up with 65 points in 63 games, picking up five in his last game of the season. He scored one by redirecting a puck. He scored his second goal of the game by just a quick release. Man, honestly, I feel like his shot is underrated. And he also picked up a few assists, mostly from using that big ice cream truck of a frame of his to take attention away from the play and sit up his teammates. Bulldogs head coach Jay McKee kind of predicted that he was going to have a much better season, but nobody expected it to be this extreme. So let's go ahead and take a look at Jack High's point production compared to some of the other Habs prospects. Yeah, he might not be as fancy as some of these other guys, but what he lacks in skill, he makes up for it in pure grit and intimidation. And look, this might sound a bit crazy, but I'm equally as excited about Florian Jackeye as I am about a prospect like Philip Majer. Okay, you wanna know why? Because you ain't winning nothing with a team full of pussycats. And Jackie Chan, well, he ain't no pussy. Cat. As for predicting his role in the future, it might be a bit of a stretch right now to say that Florian Jackeye is gonna be a regular in the NHL one day, a regular. But if there's anything that Habs fans and maybe Zach Cassian should know, guys, you never underestimate a Jackeye, okay? You just don't. A couple of years ago, I was making similar videos about Arbor Jackeye when he was leaving behind a trail of destruction in the Ontario Hockey League. And guess what? People were laughing. Pfft, he's not going to make the NHL. He could barely play. I heard every excuse in the book. And look at him now. He's paired up with Chewbacca. And his development path was crazy. He worked his ass off to get here. And I wouldn't be shocked at all if Florian does the same. And he patrols a bottom six line in Montreal one day. At bare minimum, he's going to Lavelle. But you can go ahead and let me know down in the comments section how you feel about Jack Eye's development so far. Do you believe he's going to play in Montreal one day? Or do you feel like he's kind of overachieving right now? I want to hear all about it. Don't forget to do what Jackie Chan would do to that like button before you leave here. And hey, well, see you next time.